Hello and welcome to Turbo World. Today we're checking out the turbo on the Centurion. I have a feeling it's a little worn out, so we're going to take these things off and check it out. We're All right, tell me if you think this is normal. Floored. Like right when it shifts into second is where you feel the power come in. I'm not sure if that's normal for these trucks because I don't ever drive them. We're gonna bust this hose clamp loose down here on the inner. We're gonna take these two bolts off up here, bust this hose clamp loose up here. And we're gonna grab the wheel. We're gonna check in and out thrust play. And we're gonna check up and down thrust play. And then we're gonna look for scores around the outside of the housing where the wheel has made contact. Generally, if the wheel has made contact a lot, it'll wear a groove around the housing. And you'll see where the contact has been made. And so the compressor wheel will be kind of smooth on the corners and rounded off. And the housing will have, like I said, a groove in it. Let's get started. My neighbor is doing some crazy siding stuff. So, pardon the noise. 10 and a 13. I'm gonna do it to it with leverage. This bottom little guy. Watch me break my face. And take one. not draw threaded. It's just some serious Loctite or something. The corrosion in the aluminum. Oh no, it's just like butter. <laughs> Baby steps because engineers. Take the lid off. It's like something that's chipped one of the fins on that side. Right in the middle. Something might have gone through it. Cleaned her out real good. You can see there's nothing. Nothing making contact. I'm actually surprised. Makes me wonder if it's leaking boost somewhere else or if the wastegate's just not adjusted correctly. Because this truck is just like, I don't know, like first gear it falls on its face and then it picks up in second. It's like a Mercedes diesel, an old, old Mercedes diesel car, non-turbo. It's just slow as hell until it hits second gear right at the top of first and then the turbo starts kicking in you can really feel the difference it's like a night and day difference in power and it's so sluggish that it feels like the turbo's you know doing extra work than it is because that power comes on and put this stuff back together tell me good news the sasquatch has returned man i don't even care it's hot out 
I'm in my pool, you know what I mean? So, it is what it is. This is the best I'm ever gonna look. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm only gonna get older from here, so. But uh, we found out that turbo was good, man. The turbo was fine. It didn't have any, have any, any, uh, so if you're looking at the turbo from side to side, from the exhaust housing and the intake housing, it didn't have any in and out thrust play, and it didn't have any up and down play in it at all, and it obviously didn't have any gouging around the outer section of the housing, and the corners looked okay. It didn't look like they were rounded off or had made contact at any point. So, man, it was golden, you know what I mean? So that's basically how to check a turbo to see if it's good, you know, the in and out play, the up and down, uh, and also the spin. You know, you, knew, you need to spin it and check it and make sure that it spins. I don't know how to put it. Uh, it spins easy and it continues to spin evenly. Like there isn't a point where it spins and then all of a sudden it locks up. You know what I mean? It spins evenly and spins down evenly and everything is kind of smooth. So that's a pretty easy way to check a turbo out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so you get the videos as they come out and as they release. Thank you. Have a great day. Spotted. She's a good girl. <laughs> Over here smiling by yourself. Mm, yeah. Look at you smiling, good girl. All right. Tell everybody bye. Tell them to like and subscribe. Good girl. <laughs>